Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, in front of us there is two hadith as you see. I want to read hadith number 6931 and 6932 from Sahih al-Bukhari. And I will post the link next to my video so you can go and enjoy those hadith. By the way, this page is full of very, very funny entertainment. Anyway, so if you read with me, you will see something very interesting. Muhammad in there is speaking. In the beginning, it says in the hadith, Ad Ad Dajjal. Ad Dajjal, it's mean the Antichrist. This is the Arabic name, Ad Dajjal. Simply, Ad Dajjal represent the Antichrist, the anti Messiah, the fake Messiah. Was mentioned in the prison of the Prophet. Okay, somebody mentioned the name of the Antichrist in the prison of the Prophet. What the Prophet he said? The Prophet said, Allah is not hiding from you, and He is not one eyed. And he pointed his uh, his hand toward his uh, 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 eye, adding, "While while al Messiah al Dajjal, the fake Messiah, the Antichrist, is blind, and in the right eye, his eye look like protruding a grab, gra a, gra uh, a grab, or a grape." Now, guys, and here we will see something very important. Muhammad is saying to us that Jesus Christ is God. Do you know how? I don't know if you notice. Know okay, a person is speaking about the Antichrist. Muhammad he jumped to talk because you know Muhammad he cannot stay quiet, and the much he talk he much expose himself. He said, "No, no, listen. Allah he don't hide himself, and Allah don't have one eye. Allah have two eyes. Why he saying that? Because Al Messiah, the fake Messiah, the Antichrist, according to Muhammad he have one eye, and he have his eye like a grape." So, what the Messiah have to do with Allah? The fake Messiah. The fake Messiah supposedly is trying to prove that he is the real Messiah. But in here, Muhammad is saying to, to them that the fake Messiah, this is a fake Messiah. This is not Allah. Because the fake Messiah have one eye and his eye look like a grape. Do you see it? So he's saying to them, the real Messiah is Allah. The fake Messiah is the one who have one eye. The real Messiah is the one who have two eyes. The fake Messiah is the one who have an eye like a grape. The real, the real God, he don't have that. And he don't hide himself. So, if Allah is not the Messiah, according to this hadith, why Allah is comparing between Allah and between the Antichrist himself? The Antichrist, his name is the Antichrist, not Anti-Allah, remember? You see how this religion contradicts itself? This, 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 this Muhammad, he cannot keep his mouth shut, and the much he talks, the much he exposes himself. People are not talking about Allah. People are talking about the Antichrist. Supposedly he should answer no, the real Christ is like this and the fake Christ like this. He should not say that the real Allah is like that and the fake Christ is like that. Because it's not about, supposedly it's about the fake Christ and the real Christ. It's about the Antichrist and the Christ himself. So why he is comparing the fake Christ to Allah? Simply because he is saying clearly that Jesus Christ is God. Otherwise, there is no need to compare between the Antichrist, who he is just an Antichrist, not anti-Allah. In the other hand, we ask ourselves a very easy question. Why Satan is Antichrist, not anti-Allah? Guys, you know, uh, we, we bring uh, or we install a program it's called antivirus in our computer okay why we call it antivirus not anti-window why we call it antivirus not on uh, uh, anti uh, uh, messenger simply because it's a program made to fight the virus this is why it's called antivirus it is the enemy of virus now, the Antichrist is the same. He is the enemy of Christ. 
and then you ask yourself a question Antichrist supposedly represents Satan why Satan is not calling himself anti-Muhammad if a Christ is just a prophet why he is so much important to him and even he want to be Antichrist not anti-Muhammad the Muslims they say the most important message is the one is not corrupted which is the message of Muhammad so he should fight the real message not the one is corrupted the one is corrupted is, is done it's corrupted it's over those people they are going to hell why he want to fight the Antichrist he want to be the Antichrist he don't want to be anti Muhammad actually why he don't want to call himself anti Allah if Allah is the God who is Christ like what a big deal about Christ why Satan he is so much interested in being the enemy of Christ but not the enemy of Allah because simply he can't be enemy to himself so Satan he will never be an enemy to Allah his target is Christ because this is one he fear it's not Allah you know if you claim to be pure you say I am anti filth if you claim to be filth you say I am anti pure you are the anti of the opposite and who is the opposite of Satan it's not a prophet it's God because simply Satan is a challenging God not prophets prophets they mean nothing to him his big target is God he's fighting God he's not fighting a prophet prophet they are just you know okay those are the messengers of this God but you know what my big target is the God himself so this one alone is proving to us that Jesus Christ is God because even Satan he called himself Antichrist even in Islam is not anti Allah secondly as you see when they mention the word Antichrist Muhammad right away he compared between Allah the real God for Islam and the fake Messiah the Antichrist he did not say the real Christ looked like this he said Allah he looked like that and the Antichrist looked like that so he's warning them that the real God he looked like this the fake God who is the fake Messiah he looked like that so the real Messiah is the one he is God and the fake Messiah is the Antichrist he is the enemy of God I hope I did explain it in a very easy way and I will post the link next to it so you can go and read it and I hope people they are going to copy our links our our video story and spread it all over make accounts don't just watch and laugh and please you know we have a duty uh, uh, forward the humanity if you believe that the Lord he will give you blessing in your life for doing a very simple work just be part of it don't watch good work if you think this is a good work be part of the good work then the Lord he will bless you it's very easy it doesn't take you much time to take a video and load it again you are not making the video remember you are just reloading but you will have a blessing of the Lord because you spend some of your time to do something good to save somebody you never know maybe somebody he see your video even if you don't make it even if I am the one who made it but it doesn't matter because you by your work by posting the video in somewhere somebody else saw it and this is, will be a blessing to you follow with me with the coming video Christ is Lord Islam is a religion made by a dummy for a bunch of dummies I mean